Hi everybody, my name is Elise Fong and today I'm going to share with you a little adventure to Malaysian Art Expo 2022. My first Malaysian art expo I ever went to was back in 2019 before COVID and it was such a huge event. This year, however, they have definitely downsized a lot. We also got VIP invites, so it was nice and not particularly crowded and I get to show you guys around. Without further ado, hope you guys enjoy. So this is ink and acrylic on watercolor paper. Similar to this one, ink and acrylic on watercolor paper. Very interesting. The color and splatter. This is a really big piece. Looks like metal. You can see like the scratches. Oh yeah, ink and mixed media on metal. There's a chair installed on the wall with a whatever left of the leg is there. Apparently it has something to do with lockdown. I don't know, it's a laser cut synthetic felt module assembled and sewn by hand. Interesting. This one's very interesting and a little freaky. Yeah, a little one too. This one's interesting. It's very three dimensional. Tangled. Acrylic and gloss gel. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Love this style. Looks very comic booky. Looks like a comic book cover to be honest. Oh, this one's the uh, acrylic on canvas. Oh man, look at this. This is so cool. Be my sight. Best known for his sculptures and faceless laughing Buddha in hoodies, which portrays an exchange of Eastern tradition and Western contemporary style. The work Be My Side took Huan Ying half a year to, con to share the concept. During six months, he was struggling to figure out the concept of the work. One day, he was sitting alone on the bench and suddenly he realized he became his signature hip hop faceless figure. This is Huang Yu Long's own portrayal. He always wants to find an interlaced points between different cultures and integrate them in some appropriate way to show people what he sees and feels. He's on a cabbage, on a Chinese cabbage. This is actually pretty nice. I really love the Batik series. This is so good. Look at the details on that. The pattern, the colors is so pretty. My goodness, it's so real. The Batik series 
series is by Tony Ng, it seems. Oh, this is very interesting. You can actually see the layers of it. You can see like very thick acrylic or maybe he applied gesso. But you can see the textures. Very pretty. Interesting. Very minimalistic. And here we have another faceless laughing Buddha sculpture. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is by Chu Bing Xiang Bing Al Cat. Watercolor, wow. Look at the details for watercolor. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> Interesting. Very subtle. You can see the dragon, but very, very subtle. Very interesting style. Um, okay, this is an entirely red painting, except for this one little guy who's apparently a fisherman. Uh, it's misty red, oil on canvas. Oh my god. Wow, this is nice. Very interesting. A little uh, abstract impressionism. So oh, I quite like this. It's I don't know. It just kind of feels like a cave. It's a uh, mixed media on canvas. Okay, this is apparently an NFT edition. Okay. <laughs> and then we've got more abstract pieces here. This is interesting. You can actually see faces in there. Very interesting. Very interesting. Look the color. This one just kind of reminds me of being in a bamboo forest. These are very interesting. I'm guessing they probably use a palette knife. I don't know, I can't really tell. Some like usually these are very interesting. There's just so much color to take in. This one's really nice. From far it looks I don't know how to say it, but like on, when you see it near, it's like it's not much detail. When you look from far, it does look like a scenery. It looks like a scenery out of Breath of the Wild or something. Yeah. This is very interesting. Like, 
it's very interesting how it, it doesn't really follow the rules it's like just a black bar on top and then like a gold bar <laughs> below and then like you have this scenery but it's like one side is color and the other side is not it's it's very interesting huh This is so pretty of Nepal. Very interesting <laughs> portrait of a pineapple. Uh, it's so pretty. Uh, this is like an orchestra interesting like there is no detail at the bottom but then as you slowly go up it tends to look more and more realistic very interesting thank you Interesting. Polyester resin glass, mild steel, stainless steel, aluminum and industrial coating. Huh. This is really really nice. So many layers too. Almost like a very extensive Lego. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. This is a mean painting. Very interesting. Again, like there's like a whole bunch of texture. Very interesting. They have like different colored dots. <laughs> like there's yellow, there's black, white, and there's like streaks of line in the middle. And then there's also like this cow skin texture pattern. Sorry, on the left. It's so interesting. butterfly in there. I like these. They look like ancient Chinese doors. There's so much texture in this as well. For those who are new to the channel, I share videos and tutorials here on YouTube and you can find free high resolution photo references on my Patreon site. If you like what I do and you want to support me, you can show your love over at Patreon. That's all for today and if you like my videos, it will help if you hit that like and subscribe button and share it to your friends who you might think might find it helpful. I share videos, tutorials, and photo references for free for artists to use so if you'd like to support me to help make all this sustainable, you can pledge over at Patreon. You can also receive exclusive rewards. I also like to thank my patrons for supporting me after all these years. Thank you so much guys for helping me. We really appreciate it. You can also join my Discord server as I'm trying to create a wholesome community and you can also get notified when I go live on Twitch. All links are down below in the video description and that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!